<laughs> and I think that's probably one of the best um, uses for Primal. Like, one of the big reasons you want to pick this here is just because of how useful he is on these rune fights. And the, the patch right now, I think the whole game is centered around the mid and both supports and their interactions for the first 15 minutes. Whether first they're secure. Yeah, gonna be there for 33 over DY. Meanwhile, I was taking a look at the CS. Look at Dazzle already. 11 denies. That is insane. I've seen people skip it sometimes. <laughs> they get like one point in it, so it'll apply on you, and then they won't go more. That one's not Middle the best. End. XM just getting dove here. He'll slight, but he's dead on his screen already. And oh. still a right clicks in. Eventually, Nisha's got him. This is a very one-sided right. mid lane. I, I don't think I've one. ever seen CS like that. Oof. I don't think the Techies Wyvern really are killing supports either for side lanes. So it's going to be interesting to see how they kind of maneuver around the map. They're bringing Oracle down here. They're cooking. Yeah, they're looking for Ame. Charging up the stun, trying to get some vision there. Finally get nice it, but it's avoided. So easily done, but Insania is here. also here. Three heroes come in, but the Blast Off so. hits all three with the reactive taser. They get the kill onto DY, and they'll trade for 33. So this isn't bad. Ame's got a kill. XM makes a rotation, something he needs to do to get gold under his belt. While he got pushed out of lane immediately. So getting a kill there, or helping out with one, is pretty nice for him. It's a nice contest by XM. It'll be fine. Some. The stun might just do a little damage if he wants, but it's good to always contest these Alk stacks. Also gets him back in the game, you're stealing gold. And so for Liquid uh -oh. right now, they XM's not fine. Yeah, he's gonna die there to Mick A. And there's that build. Welcome. He's actually rushing it. He is going for immediately into Maelstrom on this Templar Assassin. So yeah, unconventional, that's for sure. Like if somebody did that, like one or two patches ago, people would be like, what the fuck is this, you know? <laughs> they would not be too happy about it. The Desto timing is also not amazing. Nog is too high armor, there's the Wyvern Freeze, as you were saying earlier. Ooh, they're so, gonna go and get Mickey. Onslaught it in, XM's here, Insania can't save. Insania's still level five. He was uh, making a rotation. Even oh, I can't wait. Yeah, you can't wait to talk about the 20% status resistance. Oh yeah, just to ask him what it does. Yeah. So. XM, blink. Yeah, this is a problem here for XM, he as he's going to die very quickly. He kind of overestimates there. And and so the other cores probably have to group up and try to hold areas together. And that's when the game gets kind of awkward versus Alchemist. They're going to try it again. Blast off. Mines down. Onslaught in. They've got the Pulverize, and he'll die. That stun will go off, though, and only a rotation from the Oracle. So nothing following up, but huh? could have been dangerous. Yeah. If Liquid gets a kill... It's just, you know, it's good for them. It's bad for Extreme, but I think Extreme, every one of these kills delays the game by 30 seconds by a minute. The triangle, he can stack both of these camps compared to, I don't know, other fours, because uh, other melee fours, that is. We see an ex uh, Extreme smoke, and they're going to find the Alchemist. His ult's running, so they'll need to kill the Oracle to start. They're going for it, so let's see if they can get this kill on a 33. Taking the Alk to start. Winter is going to be there onto the Templar. Assassin Mickey's got to try and get out of this one. He throws down a trap. And they've got a sticky bomb, pulverized. There's the ult from the Oracle onto this TA. Mikke surviving, turning it around a little bit, but they go to the song. So Ame has the exit strategy here as Zinq will fall. It's a good reset. Oh. They got the Alk. This is a rough troll game. I don't think I've ever seen him go 0-11 like that. It was the first pick troll, after all. It was a nine pick troll. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing to, like, Wyvern and... Whoa, smoke broken immediately. Blink in with the avalanche, but the onslaught still goes off. They Found look the over dazzle. at the Dazzle. They're on top of him. Ame's here. They'll get the kill on Anisha to start this one off. They'll look over at Mikkei. They've got the Pulverize. Pulverizing he him he, down into the ground. He promised himself an Oracle. Oh, oh Mikkei in trouble. Trying to heal him up. Ame, he's focused on a lot of attention. They get the kill on the Naga Siren. The Whip XXS, who's onslaughting out. They go after DY. The right clicks are there. Should be dead to rights with the Radiance burning him as well. And that's not what Extreme Gaming thought they were going to get out of this. It was a bait by Insania. He false promised himself instead of the TA. So they, <laughs> they full committed on the TA. Thank you. That's going to be an, another death for him as Winter Wyvern just gets chased down by the rest of this Liquid team. I don't know if he wants to get like a Lotus. It's a decent Lotus game against all of these heroes, but uh, BKB sounds like a safer choice. Not sure, sure what he has in his quick buy, though. Onslaught. They Nisha again. They find Nisha. He's away from his team just a bit. Waiting on that Orchid. They finally put him on him, and they get the kill. 
Golden Brace trying to survive. Zinku's already dead. The Winter Wyvern's out of the fight. Ramnin over with BKB that was just picked up by Exam. Right Cook's coming out from AK. They've got the Pulverize out of the Tiny. He's in trouble. One shot till Boxy ends up dead and Xenia's fallen. That's three heroes dead on the side of Liquid. They go to the Song. Great Song. Oh, the this self -stun. is the self-stun. Nope. Nope. Just False Promise. Eh, false Promise. Ooh. Jumps off and will still die. Triple kill for XXS. They're trying to find 33. They're going to try and catch up to 33, and they're trying to pick up this Alchemist as XM's going to be chasing here. Side of Fist searing chains. He'll catch out. He'll charge up a stun. Onslaught stopped early because of that stun. There's a bunch of TA traps. Yeah, these are going to be silencing them as well, and he looks like he's getting away. They've slowed him up so much, and they get to escape. It's Roche Banner. I want to pick your brain Jeez. more about about the Roshan Banner. Like, how, how good is that? Man. She was there for... Alchemist side of his searing chains and not getting that haste now. Mules up into the air and Ami's, Ami's coming here. over. Uh oh, some net action, but 33 is here. Oh, did he just meant to dodge the stun? That's insane. He got the shallow grave off too, though. But Boxy's on the run with that shadow amulet, so he's trying to get away from the fight. XXS. It's a messy Boys fight. Touch for charge stream. stun coming in and the melt nice strike. Curse. But they've got the winter's curse. That'll save XXS, who activates the uproar. Right on top of these heroes, looking for the Pulverize, but he's going to be hexed up again, thanks Everyone's to the Poison Touch so coming out from Nisha. XM coming in with the Slight of Fist here, and Jane's have also got the net on the Oracle. They try to get on top of him, and Senia's in trouble. The Onslaught hit, he'll save he's himself. Got he's off. got the Reigns of Destiny as well on top Liquid's of the team, but is it going to be enough? Shallow Grave, Nisha surviving for a little bit longer. Ami's got a little bit of health remaining, still but the, the Golden Brace is going to be on the Ember. He still has that Aegis for 13 more seconds. That'll end up popping. The Upper is going to be popped once again. The Refraction from Mickey is going to keep him pretty healthy, but there's the song on to everybody from Liquid as they start to retreat. They don't have DUI, don't have this tech. He's stunned up by his own Stun is 33, and they're still chasing on Ame, who no longer has this Aegis. Yules up into the air. Box is going to get a little bit low. They've got each on the back lines with 30, with 33 in the front lines going after XM. Uproar activated again with the Shallow Grave. They just can't kill this Dazzle. Ame into the face of Mike. They've got this trap down, trying to silence him up, trying to get Ame out of his face. As Box is still alive, only using his heroes all the so time. Far. <laughs> they only got the kill on a DY. They take out XM. 33 is finally going to get that as XXS is trying to run him with the uproar again. The silence from the trap, the blink forward, the meld strike coming out from Mickey. The damage is there with the poison touch landing. That'll hex him up. They get the kill. That's three heroes down on the side of Extreme. But DY came back because the fight took eight minutes. I think the Ags is usually better than the blink upgrade for Elk. Just because you have good heroes to give it to. The Dazzle you just give Network to, and the TA I think were the big two ones. Because the TA lets you respond to the Nog Illusions. You can always go back. Blinking forward, now even Lines blinking 11. further. Zinku just dead before he hits the ground. The Song's not in time to save him, so that's going to be Song down as Ame needs to retreat. But Liquid, they don't really need to stop now. Song's not there, and... Defensive capabilities uh, of the Winter's Curse is not going to be available. They're going to blink forward. They've got this Alchemist going into the right clicks on XXS. Blast off. Connecting. Uproaring. Sending Liquid packing the other way Ame towards no Ame. He's all no by song. himself. No song. And Shadow Wave, look at the damage. He's dead. No buyback. This is massive. I mean, yeah, they still huge. have two, two towers, but uh, Team Liquid, like, where are the lanes at? But now it's it feels really in Liquid's favor. They are hitting this big timing, whereas now Alk will just give the Ags away. The TA is starting to feel like... Avalanche. Just the Yules. They might be able to just get this. If they can get the kill out of the Tiny, if. Uh, yeah, it's just a huge if. False Promise, Maybe Onslaught in. Now you don't have the save, though. Oracle would be a nice choice, but again, it's another if. They throw the stun, they're looking over at the Tiny, they get the kill on a Bolt. So this is where Liquid's vulnerable when they don't have that full five. It's, it's too good of an it's item. It's so strong with <laughs> illusions or just multiple units. They know that they're in Roche. He roared. And they've got these illusions coming in. They're not taking it that quickly. Bash up on an XM. He's going to slide. 33 looking to come in from off to the side. He charges up the stun. Onslaught downwards. He's in. XXS is not going to be there. There's a song. They do have song, so they'll use it. And they will pick up the Aegis. They will grab that Ag's Blessing. And now it's time to leave. But XM, uh-oh. He's going to be popping that BKB again. It's not that long of a duration, but he does have a remnant to try and Stun. leave. Stun lands as the BKB ends. Uh-oh. Meld Strike, Remnant just getting away. That could have been dangerous. He's still trying to run. Yeah, blinked on. Yeah, he's getting blinked on by Mickey. The chase the is there, but he eats the cheese. He'll be back to full health, full mana. As Liquid just, they don't care that you've got an Aegis. They're continuing to chase. Zinku's also in trouble. 
Psychic Burn up into the trees. Oh, and he'll nice. push him with the Psychic staff. Headband. And Zinkyu they'll get, get the kill on a DY. They need to keep Zinkyu alive. The trap's on him. There's the silence. They've got the Yules up on XXS. They look over at the Alchemist, who's going to split apart. But the uproar is activated, and they can't really move on XXS. He's silenced again. The Reigns of Destiny. Just Nobody's dying. Him. And yeah, all that gold is from the Alk. He, yes. you know, the, gave the uh, Ags to the Dazzle. And when he, he does that, it. you sell for full price. So the Dazzle basically just got 4,200 gold. Oof. Your money. Charging up the stun. Oh, Looks over at off. XM. Uh oh, silence. The trap's there. Toss Good up toss. in the air. They've got the hex. They'll get the kill. XXS is in. Gonna Shouldn't have to, to try and leave. Traps down again. That's gonna silence him up with the poison touch as well as that mini hex that he's got with it, Frank, thanks to the shard. Stun, blink, forward, BKB on the run, and up onto the high ground. But that is XM dead for 70 more seconds. And also just the slow. Like, you need to yeah, pop something. Move. You can't move. You have 100 move speed. Cliff, stun, charge, overwhelming blink. 33's in pretty deep. Cold Embrace. Not level 18, so no level 3 in the Winter's Curse just yet, but the Avalanche is going to follow it up off the win off the Cold Embrace. So Zinku's in trouble. The Metal Strike gets the no kill. Buyback. He doesn't have buyback on the Winter Wyvern. So there is no curse. The bottom tier 3, that'll fall. The Wyvern's 500 gold short of having that uh, buyback. Look at Ame. Ame is in the base. To kill tier 3 tower. Toss. Yules. Can they lock him down? Uh oh, he's got the Aegis, but can he get out? Song and. We'll just TP. TP. And the Barracks is safe. Yeah, they glyphed it and kept it up. And he's forcing them back. He also got the mid tier Two towers. No, you, you have the lane bed. He gets his coffee. I don't know. You know. I woke up to an alarm today at 6 a.m. It was very, very apparent that my whole bed was vibrating from that alarm. It's kind of annoying. But on slot, blinking, missing, and he's going to stun himself. Avalanche, though, on XXS. He uproars immediately. Blinking out, Remnant forward, trying to find somebody to go in. It's going to be on a boxy. They've got the Nullifier on to him. They'll get the kill out of the no, Tiny no immediately. Great, no. no buyback. No, all from DY Oracle. is gone, though. DY is going to buy back into the fight. They'll go after Ami. The right-click damage with the BKB being popped here by the Nagasari. They're trying to find this Oracle to make sure that he has the False Promise himself with the BKB being popped by XXS. He's in the faces of Liquid. They get the kill on his Inq. They'll take the Winter Wyvern. He's also got buyback. Now, Shallow Grave onto Insania. He's not dying. Side of Fist, Searing Chains, Shadow Wave, keeping him alive. Remnant back the other way, but he's going to be able to blink away. They go after Mickey. They've got the BKB from XM. Lotus Orb on him. Mickey trying to run away from this one. It's Winter's Wind Curse Waker. is on the Dazzle. They go to the song because Ame is low. Ame does he even look to get out of this fight? They Who do they want to re-engage in onto? They'll look over at Nietzsche, but the Lotus Storm stops the Pulverize. They'll blast off in. They'll try to get the kill on the Dazzle, but he shallow graves himself. They get the kill on the DY. He already bought back. He's going to be dead for 90 seconds. Insania finally falls. They look over his XM. He's going after 33. Nietzsche's still here. They get the kill on his Q. He's going to be dead for 90 as well. Lotus Storm once again. The break is on him with an Olifier hitting him as well. XM, he's gone. Now they've got the shallow grave once again. Uproar from XXS. They can't get the kill, and he can't do anything. Nobody's dying here. Buyback comes out from XM. Ami's going to have to run. The stun's thrown over on him, but he can't avoid it. So now the Meld Strike right on top of him with the silence coming out from the trap. They've got the poison touch. They'll get the kill, taking out Ami again. I would just want to see how many graves was that in that fight. And this is the third buyback from Extreme Gaming. Fourth buyback, actually. Yeah, XM bought back. Both supports bought back. And XXS, the only one holding it for the moment. Oh, overwhelming blink. XM, he can't die here. BKB, Remnant back, Song is used. I mean, there's nothing to follow this up. That's Song down. It's not fair. It's, uh, they have Dragonite on their throne. You, you feel like they can win these fights. They just can't they get the can't. killing blow. Yeah. Lotus Orb again, she was used, trampled. That sends them back. It's and, pretty similar to like yeah. a few years back when Shadow Demon and OD were popular at the same time. It's yeah. like, yeah, who do you focus? We'll I'm not going to say Rapier would have won them the game, but it would have been fun to see for the first time. Reflecting it back once again, Remnant put right in front of the Tier 3, but the Yules, as he's going forward with the Onslaught, tosses the Rock over and hitting onto the Oracle. They're going to TP back with those bots too. 
Blinking in with the overwhelming blink. A couple seconds left on that stun. Now they're going after him. They've got the silence out of the Alchemist. 33, though. He's still staying alive. They've still got this Lotus Orb reflecting, and they go and get the song. This is on a four. All five now caught in it, but can they do anything? They're going to focus their attention onto Insania. They want to make sure they get the kill onto the Oracle. They'll go after him. They've silenced him, but the Guardian Greaves are there, so he's able to survive. Yule's up into the air for Ame, and now he needs to run away oh, a little bit. They go to the Shallow Grave. They once. can't even get the Dazzle, but he's got himself an Aegis. The right click's coming out from Mickey. They've got the Reigns of Destiny right on top of him. They'll get the Sun coming through. BKB, Ame trying to survive. False the Promise is there on the Dazzle. Blast off lands on a three. Nisha still alive with this first life of two. The Shallow Grave just making sure that he's staying alive and nobody dying here. It's a Bee Gees song in this fight. As nobody's dying, they're staying alive. They go after ZinQ, they get the kill to the Winter Wyvern. That's the BKB being used here by XXS. Blink forward, Poison Touch, not gonna turn him into a pig just yet. He'll onslaught back into the base, getting away, but the sun lands on him. Only one dead on the side of Extreme Gaming, and they take out the Aegis. These fights are so long. Like they, they're one minute, one and a half minute. Everybody has evasion, some kind of a dispel mechanic. So many heals coming out. One more time. Onslaught, touching. Overwhelming blink, looking over at Ame. Side of Fist, Searing Chains, 33. He's getting low. Oh, they the go to the Avalanche. Back. They've got the toss on Ame. That he doesn't have buyback. That could be it. Two minutes. He's dead. They get that kill on a DY. Three heroes got on the side of Extreme Gaming. The gem is on the deck. Godlike here for Mickey. Trying to finish it off. Side of Fist, Searing Chains, locking him in place. They go after XXS. They've got the damage. They have the silence. They'll get the kill. They'll take him out. He doesn't have buyback either. It's all on XM. As they'll take this set of racks off top. But. Now they'll finally call GG, and game one will go to Team Liquid. 56 minutes in, 53,000 net worth ahead, and they finally finish off the first one. Yeah, there's, a, I think, around 20 minutes where in Extreme Gaming, they did have, like, enough damage. Because the wave is kind of doubling up on them, so it's going to keep pushing the brew, and I don't think there's a salve coming at all, and so they're going to just be stuck. DUI's going to pretty much just CS. Or die. Oh, yeah, I, that might be it. Try to bring a healing dive. salve. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a plan, it seems. But giving up first blood, is it worth it? You know, this lane dominator from the mid lane, but you kill him once or twice, and if he's putting more points to dominate the lane, more points in Q, he can't really go back to jungle and farm. So he Did needs he to get something uh -oh. out of this. Boxy's here. Yeah, Boxy grenade. and Insane is here. Zing so coming Zing over. Avalanche onto the Enchantress and XM. Surviving for now, but eventually falls to Boxy as he'll get the trade. But no XP for him. The situations don't really scare you as much, whether you're winning or losing. I think Insania might do. stick to this mid lane, but if they think he's going to do the same, they might put put some more pressure on to make a... Well, grenade connected. They do Zinkyu also have here as well. here. But look at the mid lane. Fraction, Mickey getting low. They're wrapping up. XM, wrapping around. he'll onslaught, and they'll get that kill on a Mickey. They use Meanwhile, the glyph. XM's gonna die. XM, he's in trouble. Waning rift, silence, illusory or blands, and XM, ooh, gonna die to Boxy, Close. and that is back-to-back -back deaths in the mid lane. So now XM, he's also slowed down, but he's still ahead of Nisha in terms of net worth. Ame not having a game at the moment. But they got the tower. This is pretty big. So this also means that uh, Jin Q can make a move. They're not gonna go through the gates. It Token will be a TP Nisus, rotation. Roof, fade down. bolt. Ame low and burning. That right click though does it. Boxy's got another kill. He's on a killing spree. Why did you mess up the carry player of this team? You said burning. He retired a long time ago. Like he'll just push the Spectre out again and nothing really changes. Avalanche somewhere. Off to the side there by ZQ. These supports on the side of Liquid are ultra farmed. Not even they do support. not have Dream Coil. They'll go after XM. Sunray is not going to keep him alive. They throw a Centaur at the Phoenix, so he's forced to stop the Sunray from saving XM. He'll right click and throw out that ult, but nothing doing. No follow up. They do not have really much to follow up on that. I think for Extreme right now, they kind of have to accept that they're not going to control the mid lane. Which really sucks in Dota right now. If you ever have to concede the mid lane and just not play there, it feels super bad, especially with a hero like Viper. Ooh. Going for it. Enchantress is here, Ame. Wanting to play that aggressive. Jaunts back off of it. Nice oh, land. Oh, land. Oh, Good kill on a two. XXS gets the double. That was that's, massive. that's huge for ZinQ as well, getting him much closer to that blink. He's gonna have to kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting. And he's playing bot, and I think Extreme should try to play more to these side lanes. And just like running a toss. Heroes. 
They're on top of him. Pulverize nice Supernova. They'll have an avalanche to follow this up, keeping him stunned. Refraction they in five. They use the taunt, Bobble. but the Supernova goes off. Not They've enough. got the onslaught. They'll get the kill on Amike. They Can look over at the there? rest. Insania here with Boxy as well as Nisha. Dream Coil. Ooh, I have, I, that missed. And XM is going to be able to be a deterrent so they don't continue to chase. And it will also open up the Roche for them if they want to play it in the top part of the map. But for now, it's going to be Puck. Uh, but with this, so amplified damage on Puck, Vlad's Brewmaster. This always looks so <laughs> funny. Coming. I heard Onslaught, but yeah, Avalanche comes in on a two. They've got the silence. Tokinesis doesn't oh, snap the coil, but they'll still get the kill on Ame. Boxy. And he's going to try and kill himself to neutrals, but the tree toss will get the kill, and Mickey will tip Nisha. Yeah, just runs around the map, gets his mid tower, gets the top tower, and he's playing really well. Yules is going for the puck before even a blink. I think he sees the orc being sees, built by yeah, Spectre, he, so it is. doesn't want to get countered. Onslaught. There's the jump from Shield Ame. Rune. He's Orc actually the one who gets hit by that Onslaught. Now bumped into the air. They've got the Avalanche. They'll got look him. for the kill. They get the kill on Anisha as well as Boxy. Ame with a double kill. And just like that, as his net worth is As soon as they picked up that Orchid, perfect timing pretty and much. The Even with the Shield Rune, rune they still managed to get the kill. A DY shows up in a fight. Sunray drops the egg just in case. I mean, their team fight is much stronger. Back. They're going to have another. And if Ame gets this, I mean, he's fully recovered. Oof. There's going to be so many breaks in this game. Primal Beast will be getting Aghanim Scepter later on. And uh, Jin Kyrus? He wants to scale. A, a big fan of this item build on so Tiny. When things are slowing down, you want to scale. And picking up Hand of Midas will allow you to get more items. Like this guy blinks in. He's going to get lifted by Rubik. He'll get coiled. What's a four staff going to do? Fair enough. Coil breaks. They've got the silence. And Ame is dead. He shows himself a little bit too far with no help. But compare that to a Midas into a BKB. Come no, on, don't you want this gold? He reads it. So juicy. <laughs> oh, they might. No, he's fine. Huh? Really good read by Alme to just know that something's happening. I don't think that was even a scan. Double okay. silence for the puck. Read it well from Ame, but now he jumps Mickey's into the fight. In. They've got the dream coil. He'll jump forward. Mick ATP's out. And they've kept Zinku alive for a little bit as they took out Nisha. They'll get the kill onto Insania. So. Ame reads it right, backs off, and then finally jumps in when the fight pops off. And there it goes. There it is hitting. So Aegis picked up for Ame. And I don't think it's really... It won the lane, uh, which is, you know, always a good thing to win your lane. But he he got counterpicked, right? It was a Spectre oh, 24. Oh, stop that long TP. Ame comes in. Now they've got the Orchid. We finally see a split out of him. Onslaught pulverized. No, he won't. So he'll be dead. Great XXS touch. gets the kill. Spectre now looking read. defusal. Silver Edge. We've talked about not liking the build up to this item as much. Break and, great against Spectre yeah. Viper. Yep. Looks really nice. It's, but it's a really good pure damage item now. Smokes are breaking. Blink in, pulverized. That's going to be stopped by the waning Actually, rift. Look at the damage death. on XXS. The stolen pulverized. They get the kill on XXS. It's Boxy who gets credit for that kill. They're They're focusing the silence the on the Ame. They'll take the egg. DY's dead. Right clicks in. Boxy low. One more shot. Can he die? Zinku's already in with the waiting rift. The right click's coming oh, out from Mika once again. Zinku ends up falling. That's oh, three years out of the side of gaming. So Ame needs to run, but the melt strike, he'll take out the Aegis. So. Viper on the run, back into form. Can they get anything out of this one? The Sunray, they look for the right clicks. Ame in trouble, he's on the front lines, pops that Manta. Silence still, right clicks from the Impetus. This is insane, you're doing a good amount of damage. Melt Strike, XM trying to TP, but they've got the Yules up into the air, and they'll get themselves another. That's a full team wipe. They bought back on the Phoenix, and Liquid have blown the doors open on this Mickey one. Mickey went full ham in this fight. I think this is like this six, is, seven six thousand kills damage here. coming out from him. Yeah, he's not getting out of this one. Oh, they've got the silence with the shard from the traps and it's a triple kill for Mickey. And all of a sudden the game was even. 10,000 net worth lead. They want to get those damage as fast as possible, sometimes skipping a BKB, but he understands that he needs to deal the damage and will pick up the Aegis for himself as well. Still, did Tiny commit to the Ags? I would assume so. Uh, Primal's getting it. Looking for a draw. Yeah, Primal's gonna take his axe. Tiny won't yeah, be able yeah. to buy it. <laughs> Rolls up into the air. Avalanche landing on a three. Jumps away. But telekinesis. And stealing the trample. They've got the silence. XXS popping the BKB. 
Ame made the jump in, and now they've got the Dream Coil down and around onto two. And Supernova's coming in. 33, he already used that Primal Split. He'll be fine to reform, and that's the Supernova going off. He's going to come back to form in just a second. The stun is out onto the Phoenix, who already used pretty much everything. Can they get out of this fight? Ame's off into the trees. He's trying to get away with the Spectral Dagger. The Ulsi's going to be used by Axam, but the Enchantress goes Very in with nice BKB being popped now. Cyclone onto Ame, keeping him isolated from the rest of his team. Ame needs to run. Sunray's going to be used again by DY, but Cyclone once more. He's up in the air, XXS, he's really low, up on the high ground, they go with the Spock, who's trying to put out the damage with the dead. Waning Rift, they get the kill on Ame, and they'll take out this Spectre, gone for 70 seconds, no buyback. They've got an Aegis. And here's the Rex, this is the final glyph for the game, for Extreme, in terms of like being refreshed. And look we can just kind of, maybe even go for another side after this, they still have the Aegis. Oh, nice the lift. Avalanche, lift, Avalanche stolen under his feet, not gonna connect, but they've got the Dream Coil, Great and now Zinku's in trouble, he's already dead, he doesn't have buyback, they'll go for the rest, they take up the Aegis out of the hands of this TA. Nisha off to the side with the BKB running out in just a second from XXS, oh, the Avalanche once again coming avalanche. out from Boxy, XXS on the run, one health left, he just heals up and not gonna be enough. So XXS ends up falling, XM trying to fight, but the break is there, they get the kill, they'll take it the Viper, he doesn't have buyback again, Ami trying to do all he can, but they're I, going don't think, for the I don't think he can hold. Yeah, the throne's going to be exposed if they're not too careful. The tier fours are vulnerable. They still don't have a glyph. And this might just be Liquid eliminating Extreme Gaming, who took one in the group. They were nine and one, and it's all fallen apart since. Third spot Icarus dive, Supernova, Ame's dead. That's all they've written here as the throne is exposed and it is going to be Extreme Gaming eliminated in the first round after an amazing group stage. But Liquid don't care about that performance as they will take them 2-0. Uh, what a showing from Team Liquid. And they should be pretty happy about this one. Really good showing from Liquid. I think it was, I would say it's kind of a team win uh, where it wasn't like they did anything special, like, oh my god, they just like, I'll play them. It was just like, their team played really clean in their own strategies. 